hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video we will discuss about projectile motion first of all we need to define about projectile motion the projectile motion is a two dimensional motion under constant acceleration due to gravity we can explain or we can further discuss about projectile motion by explaining some diagrams first of all we need to consider that when a ball is horizontally placed or moved or hit from some height you can say that this is some height from some height uh, what will be the velocity of horizontal velocity and vertical velocity first of all we need to understand that when ball is horizontally hit or horizontally move then uh, it move as well as it move its horizontal component of velocity and vertical component of velocity can also be calculated or find out uh, uh, by the passage of time the ball will go down due to due to acceleration in this case acceleration is due to gravity and when it hits the ground we need to find out the distance how much horizontal distance it covered this horizontal distance can be calculated from the expression s is equal to v multiplied by t so in this case s is a horizontal distance and v is the velocity so in this case vix is defined vix means initial velocity with respect to x axis because it is horizontally moved and multiply by t the time covered or when it hits the ground what will be the time of flight so in case when we find out the vertical distance what we can uh, say that vertical distance in the form of y and this expression can be calculated from some motion equation motion s is equal to v i t plus half a t scale so when ball is already at some height its initial velocity will be zero zero plus one by two and in this case acceleration is due to gravity ball is um, ball is has a gravitational pull and it is coming towards the earth acceleration due to gravity and t scale so this distance we can say that we are dealing with vertical distance and we will say that this is y so y is equal to 1 by 2 g t scale and these are two expressions in which we can calculate the horizontal distance or and vertical distance when ball is hit from some height to horizontal distance and it will cover horizontal as well as vertical distance and horizontal velocity and vertical velocity in order to study the uh, motion or behavior of the ball or object in projectile motion we need to understand that for example this is a projectile motion ball is hit from here from the point O or region or when it comes back to, to the ground or hit the ground at point A from this point if we make a projectile or projection this, it is known as initial velocity vi vi and if we are making an angle theta from the uh, horizontal or from the ground in order to calculate or in order to study the behavior of this ball we need to resolve this into in its rectangular components its rectangular components will be vx vix this is a horizontal component and viy it is rectangular component so we also know that v i x is equal to v i cos of theta and v i y is equal to v i sin of theta so this is a, a rectangular component of velocity so in this case the acceleration for horizontal acceleration a x is equal to zero because only vertical acceleration a y is equal to g is, is acting on it gravitational pull is acting on it and horizontal acceleration will be zero so in this case we will say that velocity initial velocity along x axis and initial velocity along y axis is equal to 
same velocity v i cos of theta because in that in this case no um, uh, vertical component is or, or no gravitational pull is applied and in the other case when we find out that v f y final velocity in the form of vertical because only gravitational pull is applied on it and it is a height maximum height and vfy is equal to vi sine of theta minus gt this term will be min uh, minus or will be reduced uh, in order to calculate the velocity of y axis and if we find out the total velocity of x axis and y axis we need to find the relationship between the vertical velocity and final uh, horizontal velocity as well as final velocity the magnitude of velocity will be v fx square plus v fy whole square square root this is a magnitude of velocity and if we find out the angle or phi between these two uh, velocities we, we will say that tan of phi is equal to vfy vertical component over horizontal component vfx so this is the angle and if we find out the phi so uh, simply we will uh, replace the tan into other side phi will be tan inverse into vfy over vfx so hi guys up till now we have discussed about projectile motion how their uh, velocity of object can be can be measured or calculated how we can resolve its velocity into rectangular components uh, uh, until now we have finished it and in the next video i will discuss about uh, height of projectile range of projectile and time of flight um, stay tuned we will see in the next video please subscribe our channel and see you bye bye